What's up, everybody? I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. And welcome to a brand spanking new episode of Game Talk, baby. Uh, in the last episode, we defeated the mothership. Now I gotta figure out what to do next. Ah! So let's see. I'll see if I can pull up the uh, walkthrough for us here. What the fuck just happened there? So I'm just gonna travel down as. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, hey, that's pretty hey, cool. Oh, my advertisement on a. Uh... Unfortunately, y'all can't see none of this because there's gonna be a sensor bar right there. <laughs> They're making a porno. <laughs> it took the words right out of my mouth, Duke. So anyway, I'm trying to get some uh, interesting uh, notes and I suppose I should probably move on. I didn't know there were cheats in this. Oh, there's another vent. <laughs> wow, she is completely naked. <laughs> That's why there's a sensor bar there. Dude, look on the TV. <laughs> nice. Apparently that's all that's this way. Them wholesome twins ain't so wholesome. <laughs> was that the wholesome twins? Uh, uh, wholesome twins? I think it was. I can see. D oh, <laughs> I was gonna go all Joe Dirt and be like, I can see down your shirt. All right, so let's see. We finished the mothership battle. Now we're on the Lady Killer. What the fuck? Kind of reminds me of the movie Alien Three. Oh, that wasn't a dead end. Oh, there go. There went the naked chicks. Did I save them? Can I shave them? Well, what's the other way? Oh, that's dead end. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Did you know that Britney Spears' entire musical career took place during the produ <laughs> production of this game? Oh my god, not this again. <laughs> Keep going. Colin Farrell's entire movie career has also taken place during the game at the say during the game's development. Well, that's not really that big of an achievement. Did you know that cell phones became a commonplace item, whereas before the game was made, they were considered a luxury item? You know, like, three episodes ago, I was worried that we were going to run out of stuff to talk about during this. But there seems to just be a freaking long-ass list. Specifically made for Duke Duke Forever. <laughs> and this show. That means that Nokia phones came and went during yeah. this time. And then Windows also tried to make phones. Well, they still do. <laughs> They're still not good at it. Yeah. Hey, you! Oh my god, Duke! I think this elevator's about to fall. Apparently, six Harry Potter books have been released, and four, and four films were produced between the times. I'm pulling it! Shouldn't that be what I'm saying to you? Pull 
Did you know that Duke Nukem Forever also took place during the time that two different Mars rovers were designed, developed, <laughs> put on the planet, and shut down? And shut down. Awesome. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a mirror. Wait, what? So anyway, that, that this is terrible. That, that website right there only gives me stuff like that. Can I shoot you? Oh, I hate that games a, to do that. that. Yeah, it's a video. I don't want to watch a video. What? What the? What the fuck? Oh, you got shrink raid? What the fuck? What the fuck is this bullshit? So anyway, this shrink raid is like. Shut the fuck up. So, you shoot him in the head. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So this this whole section right here was actually panned by most critics as being like one of the worst. Oh. We got some blue jerks. You know what's funny? She just made a sex joke in front of her kid. Does this count as child abuse? <laughs> does he enjoy it? He might. Then yes, yes it does. <laughs> Scourge! <laughs> Did you just run over somebody? No. Uh... Hey, she was naked. <laughs> oh, I'm going fast and furious Tokyo Drift, this bitch. Minus the Asian dying in the explosion. Too soon? <laughs> nah. Oh, dude, you just pulled a Paul Walker. <laughs> Too soon? Yeah, probably. We might, yep. have, might have censored that. Or we already did censor that. Depending on when you're watching this. Yeah. I thought about making a second channel called TOC Director's Cuts. That would be kind of fun. Whoa! That guy had blue eyes. Because one blew that way, and the other one blew that way. And then, like, post all the videos and their, you know... Entirety. Uncensored format. Uh, we better be careful about that because we do say a lot of different things. Well, I mean, the majority of what gets censored is like religious stuff and people's names, the C word, you know, like Misty's full name and address several times, <laughs> as well as uh, some other funny stuff. And there was that one, that whole, you know, rant that I gave about, you know, certain games using certain words. But then I decided that maybe that doesn't belong on YouTube at all. So if you wanted to watch it, you could watch it on our Live Leak channel. That we don't really have. <laughs> uh, However, yeah. uh... Our website is currently under construction, and I've been contemplating adding, like, a subscription-based area in it. Yeah. Might make those videos available during, in that area. Didn't make it. <laughs> I like how it spawns you back. Press A for a turbo boost. Oh, apparently I wasn't supposed to try to jump that. That would have been kind of fun if you made it. Well, I think I almost did, and the fucking game just made me fail. Hmm. Sitting here trying to look up some Duke Nukem facts, but really there's nothing that... I'm gonna launch off of this ass. 
Oh, dude. That was epic. That's probably going to be the title card. Launching off ass. Launching off this ass. Pounding her into buttocks. Part 2. So anyway, when the game was announced, it originally used the Quake 2 engine. Doesn't look like much, doesn't look like much has changed. <laughs> then it went to the Unreal Engine. Again. Doesn't really look like much has changed. Uh. Yep. <laughs> this is a hard fucking angle to hit. Then apparently they had a conflict with Take Two Interactive. I just assumed at every ramp I'm supposed to hit at full speed. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but apparently... Is he still fucking chasing me? Yeah, apparently. Get away from me! So anyway, when Take-Two Interactive said that because the game was taking so long to create, that he would, uh... That he would end up writing off about 5.5 mi- that they uh, or the CEO of Take Two Interactive, Jeffrey Lapin or Lapin. I don't know. That's one of those French-looking names, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, he reported that the game would not be out that year. He further said the company was writing off 5.5 million from its earnings due to Duke Nukem Forever's lengthy development time. The creator of Duke Nukem. Uh, what the hell is his name? Pro tip: Take less damage to avoid being killed. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. George Brassard, the uh, creator of Duke Nukem, or one of the two creators of Duke Nukem, said that uh, he shot back with, Take Two needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> we don't want Take Two saying stupid ass things in public for the sole purpose of helping their stock. It's time to ta- It's our time and our money we are spending on the game. So either we're absolutely stupid and clueless, or we believe in what we're working on. You know, I, I appreciate him for his, uh... I'm still in this damn car. I appreciate what he said for his Duke Nukem-esque, uh, statement there. However, I have to agree with the first line he used. Ah! Because they they really tried to push this game out and didn't really think it through, in my opinion. It's a fun game. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But it could use so much more Duke Nukem, you know, Duke, Duke Nukem-style entertainment. Get under that door. Can I get under like this? Gotta find a way to leave the tape. <laughs> so from two- <laughs> <laughs> that voice. So in their so in three D realms, final years in development. <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. Can't go that way. Let's see. So basically what happens is is the Duke Nukem Forever team gets laid off around 2009 and 2010. 3D Realms gets shut down or downsized. So at this point take two and what the hell? How do I raise the gate? I think you gotta figure out how to get up there. Which is a series can, of walking from I can push stuff, right? Yeah. Can't but you what you do is jump up there. Then jump on that. If you can spin that. Oh, that kinda sucks. Always bet on Duke. So anyway, take two decides that there's the uh, gate over there, but you gotta jump oh, this is some freaking hardcore parkour, man. You're Duke fucking Nukem. Can I make a Ducor? <laughs> yeah, it's Ducor. Hell yeah. Watch the rat. No! <laughs> Can't see because it's freaking light. Well, not only the light, but the giant fucking bush right there. Uh, Princess Diaries reference there. 
Or was that Prince? No, Princess Bride, not Princess Diaries. Princess Diaries was that Anne Hathaway movie where she doesn't show her boobs. I wouldn't know. Okay, l let me let me explain something to you, Josh. I'm the only grandson on my dad's side, so and my the only the only other grandson on my mom's side is like ten years my age, you know, ten years younger than me. What the fuck? So, did did you just get? Never mind. That was confusing as fuck, but. I was going straight, and I just got like fucking like. Yeah, there were a lot of. There's what a lot the of. What the hell? There's a lot of glitches in this game, that being one of them. So anyway, 3D Realms gets downsized, Wee and Gearbox ends up reviving the series. Gearbox is known for such great games as Borderlands 2, Borderlands, mostly everything Borderlands. Jesus Christ, you they did it! They did make a pretty good. Uh, it, they did. They they. If I can ever get this out right, you know. Border. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I can't say anything today. Gearbox did end up get reviving another series as well. Aliens Colonial Marines, which had been in development hell for so long that they decided they would take it over. So Gearbox makes both of these games. Both of them are panned by critics. I play both of them. I like them. Then again, I'm kind of a simple gamer. I don't need, you know, a Where's long the driving damn plot. damn excellent? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe there. Watch out for the pig cops. <laughs> Get out of my way, asshole. <laughs> so anyway. Shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> It's right there in the way where it's going to be a problem, but... Don't fuck with me, buddy. What oh! the... Oh! What oh! the... Oh, you were supposed to do that. Was I? Yeah. Yeah, because that, that was pretty, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> Boobs? Wait. I think you gotta push something over that way. Well, I should be able to reach it from right here. I know, that's that's the sad thing. Of course this is Duke Nukem Forever, so Just cause. <laughs> so apparently during the... Uh... <laughs> Hell yeah. Sensor bar. <laughs> what's back here? Yeah, I like how you can't get under to, get under there to see what's going on. <laughs> hey, oh, Josh, what? crouch. Yeah. You should get an ego boost <laughs> just for trying that. Well, that's why I was doing it. Size only matters when you're full grown, baby. <laughs> well, I, I can agree to that. So, uh, during during the production phase of Duke Nukem Forever. It went by many titles, you know, from critics. A case of alien invasion. Break glass. <laughs> and Josh, here are some of the names that, that people were calling it. Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem Never. <laughs> Duke Nukem Taking Forever. Duke Nukem Whenever. Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem For Never. Duke Nukem Never Ever. And Duke Nukem If Ever. How the fuck did he survive that? He's a teleporter. Well, 
I'm gonna have to finish this battle now. Yeah. So yeah, Duke, Nuke, Duke Nukem Forever really took a lot of cri criticism for how long it took to make it. However, I feel like it. I feel like it's a very good game. Well, I mean, well, not very. Maybe not a very good game, but you know, it's a fun game in its own right. There's the Duke pistols. I can't dual wield. No. Gotta say, if you wanted something a little bit, damn. Oh, this is getting, getting kind of hairy. Yeah, your ego is. There it goes. Yeah. Gotta say, you can always drink a beer. That makes you tougher. Oh, that's an execution. You're like Chuck Norris. Yes, they made a Chuck Norris uh, Chuck Norris reference there. You know, at one point, there were facts out there that were Duke Nukem facts that were kind of like Chuck Norris facts. Bullshit. <laughs> She's right. Yeah. You know what else is pretty interesting, Josh? That the Olsen twins had a bunch of movies come out in between the uh, time that this was announced and the time it was produced. They also grew up and had a countdown made for them. And one of them got addicted to cocaine or something. Was it just one or was it both of them? You know, because twins, twins tend to do the same thing. Oh no! What the? Not in my town. You alien motherfuckers are gonna pay for this. <laughs> well, uh, I think you gotta pick that that gate up. What okay. gate? Turn around. Okay. Right there. I need to get a checkpoint so we can end this episode. And there's your checkpoint. Anytime you see the spinning nuclear sign, that means Duke has actually done something awesome. Well, on that note, I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. Well, this has been Game Talk. Uh, so make sure you like the video. Nothing else for the twins. <laughs> also, and, make sure you... Uh, and comment below about the twins. And subscribe to the channel to see more of the twins. Because I'm sure i got to rescue the twins. And And, and twins! <laughs> and twins! You can also make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter where we talk about the twins. And you can also check out our merch shop, which you can actually buy clothes to cover your ladies' twins. Or clothing that goes a little lower that the twins had on. To cover their hot pocket. <laughs> and on that, let's stop.